and now let's start a, a special pre pre oh and now let's start a special sp uh, presentation with Dr. Oz, the, te the technical manager at Saxony Egypt University. Salam alaikum. And thank you very much for introducing me. Uh, thank you for EduTech, for the management, everything. It's very nice and uh, it's a pleasure being here talking to you. Thank you for your interest listening to us. And uh, I'd like to introduce our university. And at first, I'd like to start with the names. The name Saxony. Uh, who of you knows this name? So actually, I'm Saxon. I'm from Saxony. And I'd like to tell you something about history. I'm keen on history. I read about Egypt history. And I'd like to tell you something or share something with you about Saxon history. The Romans tried to defeat, defeat the Saxons because they couldn't do so. They built a very big wall a long time before the Chinese wall. The Saxons were very dangerous at this time, but they are not anymore. You needn't be afraid. But uh, Saxon Saxony has something special, I'll tell you later if we come to these programs, because it's the origin of lots of things. I'd like to start with education. The Egyptian, the worldwide educational system, comes from Saxony. Because in Leipzig, William Humboldt, he was the founder of modern educational system. He brought it to school and now not only Germany, Saxony. Saxony is a federal state of Germany as having this educational system. But we have improved it in Saxony and in Germany. And this I want to share with you. And Saxony, the name itself is in the language I'm using. Actually, I am German. We say, ich bin Deutsch. But our native tongue is English, because English is made of Angle and Saxon. So our ancestors developed the most used language. And as I was listening to Arabic, I speak only a few words, but Mefish yeah, Mushkila, no problem. Uh, we can understand each other, we can use one modern language. And if I listen to Arabic, they use lots of English terms and phrases, so even I, with my very poor Arabic, can follow what you are saying. And I hope you can follow me with my <coughs> presentation of SEU. Saxony Egypt belongs together because uh, Saxon management is coming here personally, so I'm coming here personally. I have chosen Cairo as my new hometown, living here and implementing here our state-of-the-art educational system. It's not like William Humboldt developed it. It's, in my opinion, much better. For applied science, it's not just a phrase. In Germany, universities of applied science, they are closely related to, at first, state-of-the-art digitalization, but they are related to the working world or, the, or industry 4.0, which means digitalization at first, although Egypt is further than Germany, I have to admit, but it means autonomous driving, it means electromobility, it means artificial intelligence since May this year, or last year even, and it means that we have computing systems state of the art in Egypt and worldwide, quantum computing, quantum cryptography, and things like that. Applied means, in our terms, that we have 60%, at least 60% of practice. Our students have academic, ac academical background, scientific background, quantum physics, physics, chemistry, biology, dependent on the program you're choosing. 
but it is being applied in our very modern laboratories and workshops. This means that you have the uh, historical input of physics, for example, but you are using it in mechanics, in electricity, in controlling, in hibernation, and you use your knowledge in programming at the PC by more than 60%. In these 60%, we have included internships in Germany, for example, or in the Egyptian market. We are in cooperation with companies, with the industry, with the market. And that's what we are aiming at to the Egyptian market, because we want to qualify young people. And in my opinion, people are intelligent everywhere by hardware. We have the software. And my vision, our vision, our mission is to give our education system into the brains of the young Egyptian people, because in Germany we don't have enough brains. We have a lack of brains. The brains getting older, <laughs> they are dying, and we need new brains. And that's why we are importing with pleasure young Egyptian people, but at first they need to be trained. If you want to play, be a good soccer player, we are in the Champion League's time, yeah, then you have to train much. And if you want to be a professional in industry, you have to train much. Yeah. We have <clears throat> technology. Actually, few people only know that the Latin translation of technology means art. So we are artists. Yeah, it's the Greek word. Greek word translated to Latin is art. And in German we say Kunst. Kunst comes from können, from being able to something, to do something. It's very practical. Uh, we start very slowly with only six programs. They're ratified by the Ministry of Education in Egypt. And in the end, you get a bachelor's degree, so you're ratified in Germany. And Germany is known worldwide for its quality in education and in technology. And that's why you have access to every market worldwide after successful graduation. So young people, they enter our university, they enroll in our university, but it's up to them, learning, being busy, and then the world is open for them. Our programs I'd like to introduce briefly. We've got faculties, it's four of them, and in these faculties, um, for example, health care, we have nursing. In Germany, nursing is a vocational study, but we make it for a professional study. So we even improve four years, yeah, four years. Yeah? Because uh, we want to have everybody the opportunity having an academic degree, and if you come from school, you need to be prepared. So we have kind of preparation year that not only the well sophisticated, sophisticated students or from rich background can study, that everybody can have access. And that's a German way as well, equality. No? It's high standard. We don't make a difference between men and women, between social state or whatever. Yeah? Everybody dependent on school degree, of course. Yeah? There should be some inauguration, examination, but basically everybody has access and we are not bribed, we are not corrupt. Everybody will be treated equally. Yeah? That's in Germany not possible and we won't start here doing this. Yeah. The nursing, yeah, we make it as a study and I want to have it as a scientific base. I'm specialized in medicine, but um, what is new is public health. Yeah. The, the modern nursing was implemented in England by Florence Nightingale yeah, at the time of the Crim War. No, in 
1856. But uh, public health care is completely new in Egypt. In Germany, it deals about the health of the population. There's immunology, virology, lots of statistics, and working together with the World Health Organization. Also, we have a worldwide network, and you're a kind of manager. Now, you can work in any official institution, and uh, the government has to create these institutions. Now, so it's something new, but you will be the trendsetters, we say, in the mode, yeah, and, and the other fields. The Faculty of Electrical, Electronic and Computing Technology, we've got only one program, but uh, all programs are chosen because they are on demand. So people uh, need it and Egypt need, does, has need of computing security. Uh, it's in the social field as well as in the military field as well. Yeah, we, we need uh, computing, so we know that there's hybrid warfare even, so we need a secure system in each country. And so we are importing our knowledge because every curriculum is closely related to German standard. Yeah, they're aligned completely. So actually I know all the curricula and the management of Germany is here to maintain the quality all through the studies. Uh, and computing security, I'd like to tell you something about what I said before, that it's a Saxon invention. Did you know that digitalization was invented in Saxony? In Leipzig city, too, where Humboldt lived, it was Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, a contemporary of Isaac Newton. They weren't friends, but they developed something at the same time. They had struggled with this. And he invented the monad system, the one and zero. This idea of digitalization was invented in Saxony. It's a Saxon product no, of my ancestors, actually. So then, um, faculty of management. Um, truly, the unique thing is that in each program, you'll be a manager in the professional field. But we call it management because uh, logistics and sports management has special content, yeah, which has more emphasis on managing things. Yeah? So in logistics, you have to plan nationally and internationally. Yeah? It's the value chain and warehousing, things like that. They are very important in each company, even in medical field. Everywhere you have logistics in every company, uh, even in computing industry. And that's why it's basics. And uh, as far as I know, so my boss, Khaled uh, he is Egyptian and he knows the market, he knows the people, and uh, he always is updating me. I'm not long in Egypt. And he tells that logistics is not well developed in Egypt. No, you're, you're building much, but you need structure of it. And so we try to help you in this too, developing the managers in this field. Uh, sports management, in my opinion, actually I like sports. I like sports always more than anything else in my youth. Actually, it's true. I hated school from the first day. I was teaching more than 20,000 hours, but it's not that I like it. You have to do it. I'm, I'm curious and I want to develop something. That's why. We do what we do. Yeah? We want to develop next generation. I've got three children. Uh, my son is a computing specialist, IT, in VW company. My daughter's working in the nursing field. Yeah? So we always de develop next generation as parents. And of course, we have other children as well. So I have children in Egypt now. Yeah. And sports management close, is closely related to public health because without sports, without activity, there's standstill, and standstill means death. Movement means being alive. And last but not least, the faculty of mechanical engineering. And now the third Saxon invention. 
it was my former boss. He was the founder of the VW building institutions, 11 worldwide, and two, three in Saxony, Chemnitz and Dresden, basically. I was working there too, and uh, we, or he, invented the profession of mechatronics in 1998. It's very old, but at this time it was a vocational profession, it wasn't a study. And so, uh, for example, he told me this story that there was the assembly line and somebody should repair it and they called the mechanic. And the mechanic said, no, it's not my problem, it's electronical problem. <laughs> they called the electronics and he said, no, uh, it's mechanical problem. And nobody was repairing it. And so they thought, we just combine these two professions. <laughs> and then we have... Um, the curriculum of study is much higher. There's much more mathematics, much more physics, mechanics, electricity in it. Of course, chironation, autonomization, no, it, holistic, and uh, of course, it's related to uh, renewable energies. Yeah. We will have a special program on it later on. We will have much more programs, but we start with this. But mechatronics, um, we have already uh, implemented or started schools in 2017. They are called SIS Middle East, Saxony International Schools Middle East. And we have kindergarten and primary school. And now we are developing up to secondary school and grammar school. And if you finish at this time, the students can enter from school directly. Uh, we have a dual system in school as well. The students using tools. In Germany, the students of grammar school, they are programming in school. They are making robots. Yeah? So that if you enter the professional world, you are practically trained. Now, that's the vision of my boss, of Khaletaha. He wants to have practical people. Things should be done, not only planned. And we want to employ this here in Saxony. And the president, Mr. Scholl from Saxony, he's got 38 kindergartens and schools in Saxony. Yeah? And that's not enough. Yeah? We need much more quality education in the world. We've got lots of education, lots of words. I'm using lots of words. But the words itself, they make the difference, not the number of the words. So uh, now you have an overview that uh, lots of things come from Saxony. Our, un our university, the management comes from Saxony, but the professors and the teachers, they will be Egyptian. Uh, I learned to know we are in the interview process and uh, I learned to know very clever, even internationally working professors and we will choose the best for our students. Unfortunately, the best, I'd like to employ everybody, but we can't. Yeah? And that's why you have to keep the level high, and keeping the level high means having the best stuff possible. <clears throat> so the study language will be English, so I don't need much time for explaining it. Um, it's two or four years, I was talking about four years, but we have uh, employed a two years level of diploma uh, that somebody who wants can enter the market earlier, even already professionally, but without a bachelor's degree. But so you can work for a while and then you can re enter the program and study further, maybe later on. Yeah? So you have the choice as a student, not only having a thorough study of four years. Yeah? So two years diploma, four years bachelor's degree. German language is optional, but what's completely new in Egypt is that we have a TELC certification center. So I'm certified TELC tester, and uh, so it will be under my command, but I have to, um, to, to multiply people doing the work because I have to do in the university later on, but this will be 
a good opportunity for everybody having an international acknowledge certificate. TELC was together with Goethe, one enterprise in Germany called Volkshochschulenverband, but they separated and Goethe went abroad outside and TELC in Germany is much bigger than Goethe. So everybody who wants to integrate in Germany, he, she, it has to have a TELC certification. Yeah. So this, our students get sideways, they will get certifications internationally acknowledged in English and in German. The message starts a, a new university, not only a German name, so German content, German curriculum, as I explained to you. And a location will be in West Badr city. So I am living in 6th of October now. I'm moving there. The staff will live close to the university. We are always touchable. <laughs> no, we are always present for everybody. So like parents for their kids. No, and the staff as well. Yeah. The fee is only 60,000 per semester. I was always asked, no, it's 120,000 per year. It can be paid.